Are you folks sick of G Fuel and other big name energy drinks? Then you should try Dubby. Dubby is an emerging brand of energy drinks created to help focus, concentration, reaction time with no crashes or jitters. Dubby contains no malodextrin, sugars, filters, artificial colors, or dyes. Dubby's mission statement is to empower small and upcoming streamers by working alongside them and assisting them to grow and flourish. If that sounds interesting to you folks, then go check out W.GG and use code RealFillGames in all caps and no spaces. RealFillGames to get 10% off your first order. And without further ado, let's get to today's episode. Hey everybody, so today we're going to be doing something a little different. So for all the people that watch on all the podcast platforms like Spotify, Apple Podcasts, you probably already seen this episode, but for all our people that watch on our YouTube channel, you haven't seen any of the first 10 episodes. So today, we're actually going to be doing something special for two reasons. One, you guys probably haven't seen the pilot of this podcast. And two, the guys can't get together this weekend to record an episode. So uh, we're changing things up a little bit. So enjoy today, ladies and gentlemen, a recasting for all the people that are listening on the podcast apps. Um, it's a recasting, but for you all watching on YouTube, this is going to be the first time you guys are seeing it. Please enjoy, once again, the pilot episode of the Phil Blue and Eco cast. Hope you all enjoy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Phil and Eco cast. I am your host, Mr. Phil Schering. That over there is Mr. Eco Freak, and uh, today we have um, an interesting show for you folks today. Um, so, uh, wow, how many times am I going to say, um, in this episode? Let's... Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, we got blue here. Um... <laughs> do, 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 do. That's me. What? <laughs> anyway, uh, we're playing Uno in the background here, so if you hear us saying, like, you know, like, us cussing at each other, that's kind of why. Green! Green. <laughs> yeah, basically. So we're gonna have some fun and let's get to it. Uh, so, ah, damn it! <laughs> if I keep going back and forth on this, I'm gonna keep, uh, we're just gonna be here for an hour. Let's just start. Hashtag the not sponsored. Yeah, definitely <laughs> not sponsored. So either way, let's. So the first episode we're doing today, we're kind of just gonna give ourselves like a quick introduction about who we are. So, my name's Phil. I have been streaming for about four years now. Uh, between Twitch and YouTube. Nowadays, I usually stream on Twitch, and I have, um, I shoot, like, little Bean Boozle shorts on YouTube. What about you, Eco? Uh, my name is Eco, and I stream whenever I can. Didn't stream as much as I used to, but I've been streaming on YouTube for five years, and that's about it. <laughs> I thought my game froze there for a second. I thought oh, it did, but, too. Um, there is something, uh, uh, I should mention that I'm also a a trophy hunter, unlike uh, Phil. Yeah, Eco's trying to get to 100 tr uh, platinum trophies. I think he's in the 90s now, or pretty close to the 90s. I, I just hit 90. Yeah, so he's in the 90s now. So uh, the big rumor is that apparently when he hits 100, he's going to retire from gaming altogether. Well, I'm considering. Is it really a rumor when he says it himself? Yeah, it, that's not really a rumor, <laughs> Phil. <laughs> okay, now, let the, me clarify. The, the theory. <laughs> no, go ahead. It's just a theory, not sponsored. A game theory. Anyways, um... <laughs> not sponsored. As... <laughs> no, but... Eco said, oh no! That Anyways. My goal is to get to 100 by June of next year, because that will mark 10 years of me trophy hunting. Woo! Now, I have been debating about whether I want to retire from or not, because 10 years is a long time, and... I don't know if I'm ready to plop down another 10 years of trophy hunting. Uh, but I think at the end of the day, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to retire, but I'm just going to go at a slower pace. Yay. Or, or uh, uh, in English terms, it basically means I'm not going to try to platinum every game that I play. Yeah. <laughs> no, you don't. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Oh, well, now we got to... Okay, so here's the thing. I put down a, a wild color to basically try to get my color to win, but Eco jumped in and basically dropped another change color, and now I'm screwed and I'm drawing cards from the oh. deck. Yeah. <sighs> Typical. All right, but either way, yeah, so this is going to be just basically an introduction show to us. Um, 
Like, our plan is, you know, we're going to talk a lot about gaming or life as gamers. And um, we're going to try to have some fun, you know, crack some jokes and uh, try not to be awkward <laughs> as possible. I need to get to introduce myself. That's messed up. <laughs> well, you're yeah, a we guest. You're a guest. Over you... blue. Well, I mean, Blue, do you want to be part? Of... Uh, I, I'm going to put him on the spot right now. Blue, do you actually want to be part of the podcast or no? Because then I'll probably have to change the name. What? <laughs> do you want to be a guest or do you want to be a main co or main star? Dude, I'm always a star. What you talking about? Oh, there you go. <laughs> right. well, okay, then why don't you? Okay, then why don't you introduce yourself, Blue? Uh. I'm blue, and I'm just here for good vibes and memes. He's blue, dabba dee, dabba die. Yes. <laughs> Speaking of blue. Speaking okay. of. Oh wait, did you say blue eco? Because I thought you heard that. I thought I heard something like green, <laughs> green, green <laughs> and green again. <laughs> yeah. So the audio may be kind of crummy because we're recording. We're basically what I'm doing is I'm recording this off my PS5. I mean, I think we all have like pretty decent microphones, so. That's why I decided, you know, why not? Let's just throw it on the PS5, and then I'll edit it on my software and see where this goes. Like, we're not going to try to do this professionally just yet, because, you know, we don't have the kind of money for this. And, you professional. Know. <laughs> professional. That is, my, that is not my middle name. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, audio sounds kind of like tinny or stuff like that. That's kind of why. We're basically taking this off a of PS4 capture. That's what we're doing. Uh, you um, don't say the secrets out loud, bro. You don't do that. <laughs> we're taking this. Uh, we're taking this off of uh, uh, my phone. Uh, with 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 Facebook Messenger. No, no, no. Snapchat I we, Messenger. I thought we were recording from the local McDonald's. <laughs> yeah. That, no, 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 no. We can do that, damn it. They're gonna slow down their Wi-Fi. Their Wi-Fi is crap enough. And I'm allowed to That's say that. I was a McDonald's oh, employee you... one time. <laughs> so anyway. All right. Seven um, Eleven. Rud. Seven eleven. Do they even have Wi Fi? <laughs> yeah. Um I think. Man, we need to just keep it counting out time that said um well, we're we're say recording the from the Quickie Mart, okay? It's we're, the Quickie Mart. The Quickie about Mart. <laughs> Quickie Mart. We're saying hi to Homer, he's going to go grab that sprinkled donut, yeah. Can you say hi to Apu for me? <laughs> no. He doesn't exist anymore, remember? He yeah, he they cancelled him. Aww. They cancelled him. Uh speaking rest of cancel. Peace, Apu. Yes, rest in peace. Rest in uh, peace, indeed. You'll forever be a legend in Hit and Run, the video game. Since <laughs> the Hit and Run video game. Um, anyway, yeah. should we get back on topic? <laughs> what topic, topic is there? <laughs> we're just to we're just a couple of guys shooting the. Shooting I thought the we were, I, I thought we were just talking about Crayola crayons and um, paper earlier. So. Crayola. Yeah. Wait, what? Well, Eco. Well, I'll tell you what we were talking about earlier. Eco was talking about like he no. was hungry earlier. <laughs> No, no, no! I'm not no. gonna go. I'm not gonna In go the too beginning. explicit. I'm not gonna go too explicit. Okay, explicit. 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 Oh, golly. We're talking about yo. Know, I, I was just gonna start, and no, then never mind. I'm done. How about we just change the topic? Did you guys hear that? Apparently, the price of PlayStation Five consoles is going up all over the world, except for the U.S. Rest in peace to those who wanted a PS Five in other countries. Yeah, so apparently uh, the closest neighbor that we have that's going to begin the price increase is actually Canada. They're going to be having to pay 649 Canadian dollars for it. Now, I could Google real quick to see how much the conversion is, but in case folks are wondering, we're playing the Rabbits Pack. Okay, there we go. Now I have a little time. <laughs> we're playing the Rabbits Pack basically on Uno, and we... Um... <clears throat> Challenge hell with it. Uh, we're playing the Rabbits Pack, and there was like the speed up where, you know... Like, the little rabbit's giving you three seconds to play a card, or else you have to draw from the deck. Okay, uh, let's see. I'm going to Google it real quick. It's a uh, Canadian conversion rate. Doesn't that also have something to do with the whole minimum wage increase in the U.S., so that's why they're not yes. extra charging? Dollar. I don't know. Because that wouldn't make sense, because the U.S. Ha doesn't have raised prices for the PS5. <laughs> no, but I I'm saying because the other... Since, um... Other countries, their money can, or is I think pound, pounds cost more than uh, U.S. dollars or USD, right? I would think so. Oh wow! Well, okay. So here's <laughs> here's something interesting. First off, I didn't realize Blue was almost won the game. Um, I just realized that apparently, according to the conversion rate, basically the Canadian dollar, because what it said in the report was that uh, Canada's gonna be getting charged 649 Canadian dollars. 
Their dollars are yeah. about 76 cents compared to our dollars. So yeah. technically, they're going to be getting charged the same price that we are right now, which is $495.39. So they're going to be saving like about yeah. five bucks compared to what we pay here in the States. So That's not much. I call BS on that. <laughs> And in, in, in other words, they're raising it to the same price that is being charged in the U.S. is basically what you're saying. Yeah, basically that's, what the, that's what's going on. I think that's what's going to yeah. happen worldwide. And the reason why the U.S. is kind of keeping the same price is because, well, this is the most competitive market that Sony has to compete with Microsoft. And that's understandable. I mean, you know, the U.S., Microsoft runs deep. I remember one time, actually, when I was working at my current job. By the way, Eco, you suck. You freaking played that freaking <laughs> pasta. Ah, okay. <laughs> Okay, back to the story. I remember one time at my job, uh, one of my coworkers wears a PlayStation shirt, like the X, the circle, the square, and the triangle, and it says yep. PlayStation on his shirt. Um, there was this little kid that came up to him. He's like, you're a PlayStation dude? He's like, yeah. He's like, PlayStation sucks. And I'm like, oh, boy, here we go. And the thing is, I'm the, the my coworker, he basically didn't give him the time of day because we had a bunch of work to do, and... We didn't want to go into that whole argument with him. <laughs> well, all I'll say about that is I think that's extremely childish of anyone. It's just, I mean, at at this point, it's 2022. Like, I, I, I this isn't back then, you know, this where is, this people... This is a freaking people... 2000 when the freaking PS2 and the original Xbox came out, for goodness sake. Well, like, even still, I don't understand why that debate... It's just really silly because I don't understand what someone's preference of choice when it comes to what they want to play their games on should equate to what kind of person they are. Yeah, because everyone knows what the best one is. PC, right, guys? That's <laughs> an appliance. <laughs> That's an appliance, not a, not a gaming console. It's an appliance. <laughs> comment. Oh my gosh. My and this comments. video just got yellowed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not a video, it's a <laughs> podcast. <laughs> and it's going up where? On a podcast on platform, Spotify, Apple, on Apple Podcasts. Apple All podcast. right, let's go. Yeah. Oh. All right. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, Eagle made me think about that for a second. Uh, ah, come on, guys. They, they all just plus forward me. Thanks, guys. Thanks so much. You're welcome. And, and guess what? Oh, green. Right. Oh yeah, green's back. There's this whole joke we have with like green apparently from a few weeks back. I forgot what what started that joke anyway. You did. So yeah, you did. So, here's the joke, folks. We were playing a game of Uno, and he said, we should really get it off of green now. We should really get it off of green now. And, and then, just, like, six so, rounds in a row, nothing but so green. So, me and my meticulous mind, I just said, you know what? I'm going to change it to green just to piss him off. <laughs> and then and the, it just became a running joke. Anyways, it, so the joke stuck, and then we just played an entire game where me and Blue just kept changing the color to green when he just tried to change it to anything else. <laughs> and it was it was so funny because it got to the point where he rage quit. <laughs> I was I was so pissed. I I was I and I don't rage quit very often. <laughs> uh, there was one moment where he's like, "Oh, I'm so glad we're off of green," and I changed. Like, are you sure about that? <laughs> and I was like, "I'm done. I am done." I have had experience with all three of the major gaming uh, corporations. Now in, you'll have you know, to specify Microsoft who you're talking Nintendo. about. Are you talking about Microsoft? Nintendo, uh, and Microsoft, and uh, Sony. I've I've had an Xbox 360, and I have an S right here. I have had a uh, all the PlayStation systems pretty much, except for that PSP Go thing, the, whatever the heck that was. Oh, the the phone PSP. That, that phone like PSP hybrid, whatever the heck they were trying to do. I never owned that, that was one. So and, weird, honestly. And I never had an original PlayStation. I've had a two, but <laughs> not an original. Which is close enough but, to the original PlayStation. Yeah, because you could play them on there anyway. Yeah. Um, which is what I did. I never um, had a PS1. My first I console was a 2. Mine was a 2 as well. Yeah, but I'm, I'm just saying that I had PS1 games that my brother had, so I just played them on the PS2. Mm -hmm. But uh, And I had a DS and a Wii and a GameCube and whatever. And me, I mean... I realize that in comparison to most people, I've been spoiled to have that uh, like reality right. where I can, yeah, where I can play it on whatever the issue is. But <laughs> I don't know. Like as I've gotten older, like I've just been like realizing it really shouldn't matter what you play it on, or more or less. I, I think it matters in certain conversations. Like if you're talking about 
for example, if a game has an inferior copy, if you're playing it on a specific version because the version's been either... Either the version is just, like, really bad in comparison to the other ones. Like, uh, for example, the portable ports of certain console games have always been notoriously worse than the main version. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I know. Uh, if that's the case, and, like, someone said, oh, this game is terrible because I played it on this version of the game, it's like, well... That's really not you or the game. That's you're just playing the wrong version. You know now, what I mean? And that... if I may interrupt here and point out one version where it was actually better than the console version, yeah. and I know Ego is going to be pissed that I brought this up, but I'm going to bring it up anyway. I'm going to talk about what? it. Jack and Daxter: The Lost Frontier. Oh, the okay. the PSP version. Well, the yeah, PSP that was made for the PSP. Runs better, and the reason why is because that game was designed for PSP, and then it got yeah. ported to the PS2, and it runs like doo doo. I'm trying to yeah. censor myself so yeah. much. <laughs> I mean, I never yeah, once like... argued that, Phil. Like, I wouldn't know because I don't have a PSP. But honestly, in regards to Lost Frontier, I just don't care which is. Which performs better? Kind of because at the end of the game, yeah. the, at the end of the day, the game's still bad. I mean, fair point. Yeah, it feels like the game was rushed. That ki- Although oh I can't really God. talk on that. Oh. oh. <laughs> we just okay. Hey. I gotta update hey. the folks that are listening right hey. now. We just plus hey. eight okay, so... right now in in you know. <laughs> Okay. I'll just dig my own grave. I mean, I I can't really speak on that game because I only played it for five minutes as a kid and got bored and just turned it off and never played it again. But you you got it better because I got <laughs> the Lost Frontier for Christmas, and I felt obligated to play that game because my parents bought it for me and they knew yeah. I loved the franchise. So if I had if I didn't play it, I would have felt terrible. So no, I get I get that. I yeah. played it, and I'm just gonna say right now, Phil, I played it more than I should have. Yeah. I like here's the uh, thing. I've hero moded that game about ten times. Yeah, Sam. So well, should we also take this time to talk about our origins with video games? Well, I thought we we're gonna save that for another episode. Okay. Also, but, I'm pretty well, sure that yep. Ah, uh, damn. Blue just, blue <laughs> just, just won. Say, I'm pretty sure blue, blue won. just won. <laughs> I, well, I was just gonna add to that whole thing about. I think if 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 it's anyone who's had a stronger case for that whole like better version situation is because my favorite game of all time was once my least favorite game of all time because I played it on the Wii. <laughs> and then I found out, <laughs> oh, there's a 360 and PS3 version. And I went and played that and I was like, why is, why? Because <laughs> I didn't know about the other ones so I looked it up because, you know, internet was not exactly, you know. <laughs> I right. mean, I was still... I mean, I was pretty sheltered in uh, in, in comparison heck? to most people. Oh my goodness! What the frick? Uh, what is going <laughs> on? Okay, so what? for you guys wondering, uh, basically we had a plus six stacked up at Eco, and then our AI friend jumped in and started the stack over again, and basically the plus the plus six still made it around the blue, basically. So he got screwed. <laughs> That's what I get. It's just as silly to me as someone debating whether you're calling someone a piece of garbage because they're using a different phone brand than you. Like, it, it's a phone. You use it to communicate with people. I really don't think it's that big of a deal that you should have to... See, whether your phone explodes or not, <laughs> at least it's a phone. <laughs> Call back to Samsung Galaxy Note 7. But, yeah, everyone yeah. knows iPhone's the superior one. And, um... What? Uh, we just said what? it doesn't matter. <laughs> All right, well, apparently someone put their stake in that hat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 Eco, we can hide behind the shield. He can take the bullets for us. It's fine. Okay, but can we all agree that ev- anything is better than Sprint? No, no, uh, anything's no, no better comment. than freaking Metro PCS. <laughs> what is that? It's, so uh... basically, you guys just took my entire argument and just like, yes, but no, actually. <laughs> <laughs> well, we yeah, no, we no. freaking disregarded the rules of improv so hard in that part of the conversation. <laughs> I'm not even trying to be politically correct. Like I just gen- genuinely believe that I don't think people should be criticized based off of what they, what preference of console that they want to play, or just because to me, like we should all be entitled to enjoy games the way we want to, regardless yeah, it's about, of it's how. It's really about the memories that the games bring you. Like, so what? You played um, you played freaking Halo growing up. Will it be? They got a new Halo out right now. 
Uh, yeah. or, oh, God. <laughs> I'm really dating myself, aren't I? Um, <laughs> or you enjoy, like, like Eco, like Eco and myself. You enjoy Jack and Daxter. It's okay. Except that That's franchise okay. has been dead for quite a while. Well, you know, <clears throat> stuff may happen in the future. You never know. Um, the only thing that sucks, though, is I will applaud Xbox on one thing. If we're if we're getting tra- tropes out, like good tropes out for any console company, the way Xbox handles backwards compatibility is so beautiful. Honestly, like they yeah, like, like I Actually, know they can't. I, I will I will undoubtedly say that they have backwards compatibility in the bag, unlike PlayStation, which is something I can appreciate because I, I'm saying that even though what that I do agree that everybody should be. Everybody should have their own preferences to and not be judged for it. But in that same regard, since I have experienced just about all these consoles, I can't say about a Switch because I I never played on it, so I can't I can't say or not say about that. But at least when it comes to the new Xbox and the and the PlayStation consoles, the Xbox got that backwards compatibility stuff just a thousand, ten times a oh, billion better than. Snake. PlayStation and it's not even close. Like I don't, I don't think, like if it. No, no, I'm me, not talking about the conversation you were having there. I, I'm talking about the fact that you ended the game on a plus four. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. That's me. <laughs> <Do-do>. <laughs> you are learning well, young grasshopper. <laughs> yes. <Golly. laughs> um, as I was saying, uh, if you're given a choice, Eco, like uh, let's just say. Sonic Frontiers was like the last game that I ever get to play. Well, if I if I'm if I have to if I get to choose which console I'm playing it on, I'm picking PS5 10 out of 10 times. But there there are certain things that I can't argue with with uh, certain consoles. Like for example, you could make an argument that certain libraries are better than others, but I I don't think it's a question whether like e- even if you were to ask the most diehard PlayStation fan if they prefer Sony's backwards compatibility versus Microsoft's, because it's, it's just not close. <laughs> like my, I there would is say, so many I would backwards, say compatibility, backwards compatibility, games. compatibility for PlayStation, because yeah. the thing that stinks is that PlayStation has backwards compatibility, but it's locked behind a paywall. Yeah. I mean, they, they, they just choose not to make it good. For mm-hmm. much. And they do that on purpose, issue. because they want more money. They my dream money. is, listen to my dream, guys. One day, I just want a PlayStation console That'll literally play any disc you want that's PlayStation branded. PS one, two, three, four, or five. They can charge what a thousand bucks for it. Well, that's I don't think that's possible eh. because the the PSP discs are super tiny and they're not yeah. they're not Blu-ray discs. They're 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 like miniature. I forget what they're called, but they're like really really tiny. S. Just look it up. It's called a Universal Media Disc. It is a yeah, discontinued UMB. optical disc okay. medium developed by Sony for the use of the PlayStation Portable handheld game, gaming, and multimedia platform. It can hold up to 1.8 gigabytes of data and is capable of storing video games, feature-length films, and music. Uh, the very beginning of The Last of Us Part Two. Uh, remember Seth, who uh, called uh, Ellie a dyke, and then he made sandwiches for her the next day? Oh, that. Oh, oh. Okay. Big sandwich. <laughs> bigot That's what sandwich. you call them. Anytime I have a steak sandwich, I just call it a bigot sandwich. Here's my question. What's that? You know, you, you only have a limited supply of cows. Why are you killing them to get steak? That's my thing. Because, you huh? know, the, the mental, the, the thing you gotta think about is those cows, they could produce, like, milk. And that could produce you multiple other things, you know, like cheese, uh, milk, milk, <laughs> cream, yes, and milk stuff produces like that. milk. <laughs> <laughs> milk produces milk. <laughs> well, Ed, I was worrying a minute. I'll tell you folks what I was worrying a minute because we actually paused the recording and came back, and I was worrying for a minute how we'd actually pick it back up. We we picked it back up pretty quickly. <laughs> okay, so here's the thing, folks. I had notes. For these pot for these episodes, I know it sounds kind of weird, but yes, I had notes. Uh, oddly enough, the title for episode one was "What Game Means to Us." What gaming means to us? Wow, I really suck at talking sometimes. Um, so yeah, I guess that could fall under the umbrella. What, what's all right? Then let's do that. Then let's do that. Yeah, what, we can just do that topic. 
yeah, that that was actually going to be the topic of the show. So, what what does gaming mean to you, Ika? Ooh, uh, well, <laughs> it, it means a lot actually. Uh, growing up, um, well, for me, growing up wasn't easy because a lot of kids didn't really like me. So, video games to me was an escape from reality, a uh, way for me to be happy, even even though like uh, it didn't last very long. Um, Gaming has become a passionate hobby for me. It uh, helps get my mind off things. And it gives me a, a fun experience in the process. Um, why, why don't you go next, Blue? It's been something at times where I've used it as an escape or just as a... More just to wind down or relax more than anything else. Or um, mm -hmm. another s way to engage with other people. I mean... I guess you could also say that I've gotten into a lot of other hobbies or forms of media due to gaming. Like, I wouldn't be as big of a Batman fan if I didn't play, like, the Arkham games. Obviously, I wouldn't be nearly as much of a Sonic fan if I didn't play the Sonic games, but you have, like, all of them. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> takes one look at my room. Ah, so you're, uh, you're a Sonic <laughs> fan. Uh, yes, indeed. <laughs> no, I'm totally a Shadow fan. What? Sonic fan? I'm a Mario boy, but it has no Mario plushies. I I'm got a Yoshi. Mario. No, I'm a Crash uh, Bandicoot fan. <laughs> yeah, I got, I got one Yoshi plushie, so that makes me a Mario fan. <laughs> I got one. Huh. I got a blue Yoshi. Anyways, what about you, Phil? What does gaming mean to you? Well, in all honesty, gaming, it's kind of mostly bouncing off what you guys said. It's escape, basically, from the real world, you know? Trying to imagine yourself into, like, trying things that you wouldn't try in real life, honestly. Like, would you jump off this 100-story building if you knew a web could catch you? Or would you um, go after a monarchy that's unfair or unjust and stuff like that? So it's kind of like a weird escape to, like, imagining what the world could be like or what what crazy worlds other people develop. And seeing right. that come to fruition into onto your television screen over the past like solid what has it been thirty years that console that at home gaming has been around or forty years or something like that. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. I I did want to add something though actually because I probably should have. I I think gaming and what it means to me has changed uh over the course of my life. Like as a kid, it was a lifestyle. That's all I did. Pretty much. If it wasn't football, it was video games that I was doing. Or if I wasn't playing outside, it was video games. I can't tell you how many four-course meals I skipped out on that my parents went out to go eat, and I just sat home playing Sly Cooper for the 23rd time in a row. <laughs> uh, ah, relatable. And then, you know, as I got into my teens, it was multiplayer, 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 because I, even though I had a lot of friends growing up, they all had Xbox, and I didn't have an Xbox at the time, so it was just like, now that I actually had the option to play online with people, well, I played online a lot. That's how I met these two. Yeah. And But now, with me being almost a workaholic at this point <laughs> in my <laughs> young adult life, uh, gaming has become... It's not that it's become less to me, but I guess my enjoyment has faded uh, considerably compared to what I used to be. So now I only play games that, like, if it's a game that, like, I really want to play this, or if it's a game I've been looking forward to for a long time, that, or it's just I play games just to just to cool off or wind down for an hour before going to bed, or something, something around that nature. But I think sure. that goes for everybody. Everybody's kind of changed how they feel about it as they get older, or vice versa, you know. Uh, I've been playing games since I was five years old, and um, I've pretty much been using video games as a means to make me happy, because most kids growing up where I did, they would, <clears throat> they'd have lots of friends, and not a lot of people liked me, and I guess... Me playing video games is a way of making myself happy where there was a lack of. I, 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 I can understand that because, like what Phil was saying earlier, there are some things. Uh, I mean, of course, it depends on 
every everybody's life's a little different, but and the whole thing about living out a fantasy that you couldn't exist in in real life physically, like you know jumping off buildings, having superpowers, something like that. It is kind of cool to live in that reality where like, hey, I can be whatever I want to be, whenever I want to be, however I want to be. Mm-hmm. Just as long as you keep it in the video game. With. Don't do that stuff in real life. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no, we're not suggesting that. I didn't say yeah. we were. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, we're not like Tobey Maguire in Spider-Man 1 where he's just like figuring out his powers and jumping off buildings and stuff. Also, like quick that. question. What was that freaking like rubbing noise I just heard a second ago? I hate to get this off topic, but what was that? I don't uh, know. Maybe don't me know. just holding a mic on. Like I don't. I don't, I don't know. What? <laughs> I was holding. Wait, whoa, I, I'm whoa, whoa. A, I have my blanket that I'm. Oh, um, I'm oh, kind of okay, laying in my bed okay. right now. Okay, I'm laying in my sure. bed right now, so I'm just sure. like moving. It's your blanket. Okay. People are gonna take that and run with it. All right. Blanket <laughs> 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 guys. I already did. Okay. Now, I know we're probably gonna talk about this another time, but I kind of want to bring it up now since this is the first episode. If you had to choose one game. Or a franchise that would be your favorite, what would it be and why? I say um, we start with blue on this one. It's obvious. Is <laughs> that the easy one? <laughs> it's, your it's the easy one. Uh, it's pretty oh. obvious. If the name didn't give it away. <laughs> <laughs> and keep in mind his gaming tag. What, uh... Should I see your gaming tag or no? <laughs> well, yeah, they can see it, can't they? Or no, no they can't. it's a podcast. Really nice. They can't see anything. Oh, actually, that's kind of messed up. My I probably should have Bruce, said that. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> Bruce Almighty. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a reason we call him Blue, okay? We'll just say that. Go ahead, Blue. Yeah. No, well, it's because uh, my gamer tag... Well, my gamer tag's always been related to something gaming-wise. My first two were, like, Ratchet and Clank related. But when I made this one... Uh, I thought it was kind of silly that, you know, for some, I only did that because I was like, oh, it's a PlayStation account, so I might as well have a PlayStation name. And then I was like, but like, why would I limit myself like that? <laughs> so <laughs> instead, I just made it a uh, a, a gamer tag based off a trophy uh, when I actually used to care about earning trophies all the time uh, from a Sonic game. And I just listed it off use that as the inspiration for the name anyway but um yeah my whole life i've been a sonic kid i guess ever since i saw the first one of the first shows i had a sonic uh plushie that i was given as a a very young age sonic merchandise everywhere i mean i'm not one of those weirdos that Post weird crap on the internet or anything like that, but <laughs> I got. That's for I wouldn't day. judge you either I'm, way if you did. I, I'm just, I'm, I'm just pointing it out that uh, I've been, uh, I've been a Sonic stand for a long time. <laughs> so, yeah. I've been, uh, I mean, he's, he was my childhood uh, hero, and you know, someone that, to, to be honest, I think my personality, especially when I was younger, was heavily inspired by him specifically, but. If it wasn't for him, though, I also wouldn't have gotten into because a lot of other franchises like Sly Cooper, Ratchet, and Clank because, as silly as it sounds, I I got into Ratchet and Sly and Spyro and Crash because my parents thought, hey, it looked like Sonic, so he'll probably like it, which I did. (laughs) So, that's, uh, even though Ratchet was my first video game that I actually technically played, uh, it's not my favorite, though. Pretty close, but it's not my, uh. Not the one I would say anyway. So just the Sonic franchise in general? Or is there a specific game? Or... Specific game? See, I that's the thing I always taught. I I, they just, I think the Sonic franchise in general because like Phil, like I I constantly it, it it's like a a new flavor of the month kind of thing for me because like one month I'll feel like a Sonic Unleashed is by far my favorite game, but then I'll be like, Nah, Adventure Two was my favorite game. I, I guess it just depends on what I'm feeling like that day when someone asked me that question, because I feel like the problem, and hopefully, you know, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not trying to put this kind of expectation on a new game we don't even know what it's going to be about or anything, but uh, um, I'm kind of hoping that Frontiers will be that complete package kind of game, but Sonic Unleashed is the closest to a complete package 
Sonic game that I've seen ever released because Adventure has the gameplay and the story, but there are certain bits that people just don't like that I don't need to get into because you two aren't very familiar with that kind of stuff. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Maybe that's why we need to bring Blue into this. He brings like a whole other side to gaming than we have between the two yeah. of us, Eco. So you're saying we're bored. No. No. Oh, but I, I think <laughs> Phil, I think Phil is is on is kind of right though in the sense that like I I definitely played, I feel like I played more of a variety of different genres more than you two have, but that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm like a better gamer or anything. Eco, it just means I've tried more things. Yeah. Probably. Because exactly. I I try just about everything. Like I don't I don't think that there's a gaming franchise that I seriously haven't like that I haven't really sat down and played is I play just about every genre that could, that could exist. I think pretty much, even if I don't like them, like I, even though I don't like horror games, I've played quite a few of them, but all right. It, but yeah, to answer your question, it's more like a, uh, it's pretty much just if, if, if I was only given a choice to play one, it, the question was one franchise, right? Or not one game, right? It, one it was, franchise, fra anyway. franchise or game. Okay, yeah, fran yeah, just be the Sonic franchise in general. Because <laughs> like, if I was stuck to playing just the one game, like the whole, I would get bored, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you you got to be able to play some other game, as some other games every once in a while, you know. All right. So blues with Sonic. Obviously, because his name's Blue. <laughs> Could I say one more thing though? I think I think number of titles is also probably a valid thing to consider because if you're only stuck to like a, if you, even if you like a franchise that only has like two games, that that's still only two games you get to play, you know. So oh, that's true. Yeah, I true, was man. gonna say, yeah, like Sonic has like a bajillion games, so Sonic's <laughs> just about as options. old as Mario. Let's be honest, <laughs> if not by a couple years. Okay, so now we go over to Eco. Eco, do you have a favorite gaming franchise slash game per se? Well, and I feel like I know the answer to this already, but we might as well ask. Really, let's get the pitchforks out, ladies and gentlemen. After hearing <laughs> Blue's arguments, I would. I'm actually thinking a lot harder about that. I mean, yeah, we all the... know. Why my name is Eco Freak. The franchise that I hold near and dear to my heart has been inactive for 13 years. Mm -hmm. And no, HD collections and P and PS4 ports don't count. Yeah, but <laughs> give it some love to the orange lightning, talking... eh? Yeah, because ti titles should matter in this conversation because if there's only like five or three games you can play, it's like. That's not a very small. That's a very small list of games that you can choose from, right? Basically, um, but wow, that's actually a really difficult uh, answer or question <laughs> yeah. to answer. I made it more difficult. <laughs> yeah, because because technically you're, you you technically you got away with your answer because that franchise has so many games and movies and comic books <laughs> and a current <laughs> movie joke. franchise starring a famous comedian. Yep. Whereas here, I'm just, I'm just picking, for, I'm just picking apples here. All right, oh, All right well, Go ahead. well, tell your, tell your tale, my friend. What is your favorite gaming franchise? Yes. We all know my favorite gaming franchise is Jack and Daxter. Jack and Daxter. Daxter. Okay, but <laughs> if I were to be given a choice to play one franchise. I would honestly, honestly say he's torn between Kingdom Hearts and freaking Ratchet. I know he is. No, actually, not at all. Oh, really? Oh. No, because dude, I like Ratchet and Clank, but I don't like it nearly as much as a lot of other franchises. I'm not gonna um, guess anymore. Go ahead, tell us. <laughs> actually, I'd say the Infamous games. Oh. There's only four. All right. <laughs> okay, but well, they yeah, have but... a lot of replay value. That's yeah. fair. I mean, I'll, like, I'll give I love. I'll give it to you. I love yeah. Infamous One. It's the it's my favorite of the franchise. Infamous Two, in my opinion, is good, but I think it overdoes it in a few areas. But Second Son, it may be a short game, but man, is it fun. And First Light is good, albeit very short. And then there's also Festival of Blood. But I'd say that, like, in terms of, um. In terms of runtime, 
I had a lot of fun with that franchise, and I wouldn't mind sticking with it. Although, it is really sad that um, Sucker Punch decided to go a different route, but nah, that's alright. But if I were to pick up one franchise... May, may, I, may be... I say something real quick? I thought I thought for sure you were gonna say God of War. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts Dude. or God of War because again, like, if you're only given the choice of one franchise that you could spend the rest of your life playing. Well, we didn't say that. We said your favorite franchise. We didn't say one oh, franchise that would favorite. Them all. Okay, because I was yeah. about to say like the varying quality. Like, cause I feel like also that the quality of the title, like your your general perception of what the quality of the titles are. And how how often you find yourself replaying those titles yeah, exactly. should also be taken see, in consideration. See, my favorite game ever is Jack Two, but yeah, if I'm looking at the Jack and Daxter franchise as a whole, its quality fluctuates a lot. Yeah, first game was a pretty solid 3D uh, platformer, heavily inspired by Super Mario 64, and it was great. Jack Two, I love that game so much, but for me personally, Jack Three took a few steps back, and then Jack X happened, and while it was a fun racing game, it's not really fun if you're playing it long term. And Daxter, you haven't played, so and I haven't played Daxter yet. Although I still want to, I need to get a PSP for that. Yes. And then there's think, yeah. the Lost Frontier, and we don't talk about that for good reason. But um, like, even though I love the Jack and Daxter franchise a lot, it its quality has never been consistent. Meanwhile, the infamous games, uh, I can't think of a single bad one. That, you know, that's a fair point. Like, yes, we have three main games, and then we have a spin-off game, and then a what-if game. But I can't argue that any of the Infamous games were bad. That's actually kind of rare for some franchises these days, where, like, you don't have a stinker in your entry. But I'd, I'd stick with Infamous. Yeah. All right. That and I, I love Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch has never disappointed when it came to making games. Hmm. Okay. Oh, boy. I'm up, aren't I? <laughs> Yep. Your turn, oh, buddy boy. Oh god. Ah. Okay, so if there's one of the franch if there's one franchise, like of course I'm a I'm a Jack and Daxter simp as well. Uh <laughs> just like this guy. But if there's one franchise that's I would probably just keep playing and playing and playing forever. And I know I'm still kinda new to this franchise, but I have played through the games I can play through. It'd have to be the Kingdom Hearts franchise. Now Wow to to give you folks a little perspective on the games I've actually played of Kingdom Hearts, I played the original one Final Mix, um, Rechain of Memories, Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. Um, let's see, what else was there? Uh, I'm trying to remember the order. I watched the cutscenes from a few of them, including three, 358 by 2 Days. Um, let's see. And so Recoded. The were recoded. And then, of course, there was uh, Birth by Sleep, which is the next one, I think, chronologically in order. Uh, zero... No, wait, no, wait. It wasn't 0.2, was it? After that, 0.2 Birth by Sleep? I mean, technically it could be. And then there was uh, Dream Drop Distance. And then, of course, finally, the one that we're all at right now, KH3. Now, the thing is, the only part of the KH franchise I haven't played, obviously, are the ones that are not available on the PS4 versions. And, of course, I have not played the the uh, Remind DLC for Kingdom Hearts 3, because... Apparently everyone said that the KH3's original base game was too hard, so let's make it a little harder and like revamp it in some way, and then that's what Remind became. And of course, I never played Melody of Memories because, of course, like it's a music game and all, but you know I don't really see myself spending the money on that. <laughs> I'd rather save the money for like KH4 or another hey, big can I memorable interject? title. Can I interject for a second? Sure, go ahead. I find it ironic that you, a music guy, don't want to play a music-based game. Oh, you <laughs> little! <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that too. Uh, <laughs> no, it's just I don't want to invest the money in it because the story, like you well, told me, you told me originally, you told me originally the story. There's not much story-wise in the game, so I was like, what's the point of me investing the money in this damn game? That's true. Yeah. So yeah, if there's one, if there's one franchise that I think has a lot of replay value, of course, the Kingdom Hearts franchise. I mean, one day I would like to play those games that I've only seen the cutscenes for, like 358 Days Recoded, um, all the other game, all the other games that are in that are franchisable from Kingdom Hearts. Although you know this are guy, you, are you gonna finish those mobile app uh, cutscenes <sighs> or nah? I knew when I brought this up. I had a feeling he would mention this. I knew it. I just knew it. Okay, uh, but it's kind of important going forward. 
All I'm going to say is when Phil said Kingdom Hearts Eco's Heart for three sizes that day. <laughs> and and here's oh, the yeah. thing, this, that game franchise, especially KH3, it freaking makes Eco cry every time. You can hear oh, it whenever on my old streams if you go back to my Twitch I mean, those streams are gone now because, of course, Twitch, they delete them after two weeks. But no, wait, no, they're not gone. They're on my YouTube page. <laughs> I forgot I upload I re-upload them back to YouTube, which is I think against freaking Twitch law and stuff like that. But yeah, so Oh shoot, like, really? Yeah, you can't like after a certain amount of time. But I think we're way past that embargo now. Whatever. Okay. But anyway, yeah, it, it, it's it's a franchise. I I thought for sure Eco would have said that it would have been his favorite franchise. But yeah, I understand why because there have been some there have been some high points in the franchise. There have been some low points. Uh, preferably for one of the low points for me was uh, Rechain of Memories with all the damn cards. Uh, and you but, played uh, on the easy difficulty. I did, and it still kicked my ass. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, if there was one franchise I'd love to, I I probably would die with honestly, it's the Kingdom Hearts franchise. And you know, I'm re like now that I'm officially played all the games I can. And keep in mind, I played all the the remaster versions for the PS4 in the span of eight months, including KH3 without the Remind DLC. But still, uh. No. <laughs> Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we ran this time like way too far along. Honestly, like no, no, I, no, maybe we should cut some stuff what out. You're say. You, you forgot what you're gonna say. So no, you, I, aren't you gonna answer the question? I think he doesn't want to. It's not. It's not that I want to answer the question. It's just you know, I mean, we we've have a, we've had a lot to talk about here. I mean, this is only our first episode. Like, I can't imagine what it's gonna be like for the rest of the series. Boy, I tell you what, recording on PlayStation Audio, I'm glad we switched to Discord, and uh, hopefully we stay on Discord, but I'll tell you folks what, we can't make this an actual episode of the podcast without me doing a little bean boozled, so let's get to that right now. Well, okay, uh, I dropped a couple here, give me one second. So let's see, let me, let me put these back in, and then I'll mix it up. There we go. And it looks like we have a white one with colorful speckles. Hold up to the camera real quick, see if we can get capture that real quick. All right, let's just uh, do this. Come on, camera, focus. There we go. All right, so this one is either dirty dishwasher or birthday cake. Bombs up, everybody. And it's the dishwasher. Oof. Well, what a way to end the episode, isn't it? <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you check out our podcast on all your favorite uh, podcast platforms like Spotify, Apple Podcasts. We're also on iHeartRadio and Google Podcasts, so if you want to check us out there. And, of course, the video versions will be available on Spotify and our YouTube page same day. Until next time, treat all humanity with kindness and keep it real. We'll see you next time, everybody. Peace.